here at the AT&T Byron Nelson. KH lead the defending champion. Just a moment ago, this long birdie putt at the second, and he pours it in from long distance. What a shot. Back to the third. KH Lee birdie putt on its way. Boy, I tell you what, guys, he's been rolling it beautifully all week. A defending champ, he is not going to go away quietly. He loves this golf course, obviously. He shot 25 under when he won here last year in the rain. Had a chance, but breaks. Beautiful touch. These guys would much rather be down in the flat with that kind of green to work with than have it in that Bermuda rough around the greens. Off these Zoysia fairways, you can put a lot of spin on the ball. He's going to need to, Colt, from that distance. Wow. Look at that. Pulled the string. Uh, he uses a little bit of the backstop back there as well. Just watch how still everything stays here with Cage Lee. Just beautiful Man, to watch. I'll tell you what. Good confident there too. Yeah, absolutely. That looked gorgeous stroke right there. Up to seven. KH Lee second. Long bunker shot and off the downhill lie. Sit right there. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. A little extra run out there at the end. Back at nine, KH Lee for a share of the lead. The defending champion. He takes it. To 22 under, which is now one shot back after the Shoffley birdie. Back at 10. Pop up for Lee. Oh, there you go. Trying to join the names of Nicholas, Tom Watson. To be a defending champion here, going to win again. Over to 12. And the defending champion, KH Lee. Now that was four on, and that looks Way. incredible. Is he, is he going to get the kick? He is. Yes, he is. Steady on. That's all about Eagles this week. What a chance. An Eagle for KH Lee. And he is our leader at 24 under par. KH Lee. And just a nine iron, Frank, with a win from the left. Well, we didn't see this performance coming. This is 17th start, and he has yet to have a top 10, but has found something. So he'll have that to go to 25 under, and perhaps three if this goes in. Just a little from his right. Wow, look at that. 25 under. He is just cruising, Frank. Just seems unfazed by everything. All depends really on this shot. Just to get it nice and close. Could have gone with a Texas wedge, going for the old chip and run uphill the last part of this journey. That's yeah, good, but it's that awkward distance, isn't it? And he broke it down into two segments, and the latter half of this should want to drip a little to the right. Oh, that was clutch. Huge. He shot 25 under last year. He's on the same school, totally different conditions. I'd watch out too for that hill sticking in the ground and slowing yeah. everything down. Oh, boy, he bashed it. That might miss the green, is it? Do you remember he said that last year? Oh, that oh, is huge. Yes. Wow. They all know that on the tee. Yeah, but they might think it's for birdie. Someone will let oh. them know, I'm sure. But yeah. <laughs> good point. This was huge. Poor tee shot. Wasn't convinced that the club was correct. And that will be a part he remembers. And a direct line 226 by my numbers covers. Soft. Soft. Yeah, that's a great place that to miss it, isn't it? Well for KH Lee. Yeah. Very well executed there after the dialogue with his caddy. Looking good. Oh, Moses. Oh, 
tap in birdie for K.H. Lee. So he wins the event last year at 25 under, and he shoots 26 under this year, and now has to wait and see if it's enough. We have a winner. K.H. Lee defends his title at the AT&T Byron Nelson. When he walked off the green last year, his wife was pregnant at the time. Their daughter, Celine, was born last July, and it comes full circle for K.H. Lee. Hey, I'm Brooks Kepka, and thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video here, and subscribe right there.